very hot. What, I don't know what he was doing on here. <laughs> it literally is hot. <laughs> okay. Why? Oh, I love that. So you guys are like subduing your enthusiasm. I know, I keep like asking a question and then I'm like, okay, and then everyone's like... <laughs> okay, how about this? All together, let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Feels good. I'm trying to like meditate more and like just really be conscious. I'm a, I'm a very natural yeah, anxious but, person, uh, like for no reason. Like, it's really annoying. Like you guys are very pleasant, but I'm nervous just because maybe I'm on the spot. But I get so nervous. I couldn't sleep last night because I was like, I haven't done press in months and months, and I don't know. Anyway, well, this is my first time doing anything like this. So really? I'm like, ah! Well, this is a fun. Oh wow! I wish I knew that before then. we Because <laughs> I was just like, you ask a question. I'm like, like yeah, I really have not done this at all. So. Well, welcome. This is my yeah. first Comic Con. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Do you geek out over anything? No, I don't. I mean, I know that's probably not the answer that you want, but I don't. No, I mean, I, I appreciate, but I don't geek out. Like, yeah, yeah I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yes. I think season two is allegiance to his family. Um, is kind of just uh, going out the window. I think he's a little bit like uh, I don't want to be the same type of mains man that my father was, my grandfather. I don't want that, you know. So. Um, I want. I think a lot of his journey this season is like, how do I redefine the mains man? Like, how do I redefine myself? How do I? Because like in season one, he started off in his shell. You know, he was fairly newly um, out of the air force with with a prosthetic leg, and he was a broken man. You know, that's yeah. Is that a mosquito? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I feel like this season he's really stepped into his power and he's very um, I think he's angry he's very angry so he's starting some fights he's like really fighting for what he wants for information from the military from his father um, as you saw in season one his father Excuse me, gets hit over the head by Kyle Valenti, puts my father in like a pretty um, vulnerable position because he's he's suffering some brain damage, he's in the hospital. So there's like a little bit of a, a power shift with, with Alex and his father. So Alex now feels like, you know, he can ask the questions and he's gonna get the answers, you know? Um, so it's really like his allegiance is now more about his heart than anything else. And he, he's gonna give it a yes. So it's fun. It's fun to play that. Building this character from like a you know, veteran point of view, because like you know you're still like your involved with Air Force and stuff, right. and just like going into that role and like, you know researching what these um, yeah. veterans have gone through. To, yeah, I, I mean, kind of unfortunately, no offense to Karina or anybody, but we haven't really explored his time in the Air Force enough, in my opinion. Um, so I haven't had to do very specific research. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, for me, it was more about like, what can I, I mean, I've never been to war, thank God, you know, but like, what can I, what can I take from my experience in life, you know, um, which luckily has been pretty cush, though, I can probably find something that that would feel so um, intense. You know, it's such a it's such a purpose for someone when they join the military. That responsibility level is is amazing. You know? like people are are so respectable, but it's like to then feel so broken at the end of that. It's like high highs and low lows. You know what I mean? And then for you to be forever scarred like that. I mean, that's intense. So. For me, from the, the veteran standpoint, it was obviously a little bit of research, a, a lot about people who have like, who, who have lost limbs. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of talk about like, what side of like, is it your right arm, or your left arm that you hold your crutch, like you know. And, and I just really realized in doing research, it's like, whatever you want, whatever's comfortable. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no like correct way to like live life with a prosthetic leg, emotionally, physically, anything. You know what I mean? 
Um, because I was nervous about that. I was like, you, I'm re representing like a group of people who have been through a lot, and I want to, I want to, you know, respect that. So, um, yeah. Did that answer your question? Yeah, yeah. I okay. think it's like a, just another layer to the character. Like on top of dealing with your family, dealing with you know, your relationships, it's just this other layer that you know constantly going on. Correct. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I've never played a role where every scene I have to have a prosthetic leg. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There are certain scenes where, like, if he's just standing or, or, or walking slowly, like, you don't really have to worry about it. You know, people run marathons with prosthetic legs. Um, but then there are other scenes where you're like, oh my gosh, like, he wouldn't be able to do this. Like, there's a scene in one of the episodes where I, like, pop a fence. And I literally was like, I think he would have to in this, in the way I was having to do it like lift his own leg up. Do you know what I mean? Um, just little things like that that you that aren't written but you kinda have to think about those things, you know? So it's intense. It's really intense. How has um, how has Alex like affected you in your personal life? Yeah, I mean I uh, the biggest way is I felt like it kind of gave me courage and permission to be more honest about my sexuality. Um, he, you know, he's he's gay. I'm bisexual, but still, it's like he was so oppressed and and, and ashamed of who he was for so long, and I understood that. And for me, it was like Alex is fighting for his happiness, and I want to do that same thing. You know what I mean? Um, that's the biggest way. Um, that it affected my personal life, and it's really all that, that, that I can say, to be honest, and it, it, it was massive, you know, um, it was massive for me, so, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.